Okay. Hey everybody. Um, this video is all about the big chop. This is pretty much everything that I can kind of say, I think. Hopefully. I probably will miss one or two things, so I'm sorry. And um, you can always leave me a comment or a question and I'll, you know, answer that for you. Um, but this is all about the big chop. Um, first off, let me just say, I, when I chopped off my hair and did the big chop, I put that in quotes because my big chop was very, very different from most people's big chops. Um, for one, I didn't have a perm. I had damaged, you know, colored, super duper colored, um, fried, dried, laid to the side hair, but it wasn't perm. So it was still curly and it was probably still kind of healthy at the roots or towards the roots, but it wasn't perm. So when I did cut off the majority of my hair, and you can see some pictures of when I first, first, first cut it um, in my first, first, first video, then um, you'll see that I still had a decent amount. So I didn't, there, um, the whole question of how long you wait before you chop it off, I didn't really have, like, I didn't really have anything in mind when I did it. I just kind of went for it. Um, now, if you are transitioning and you're, you know, just wondering what would I do now if I were to have a perm and then I wanted to transition and I wanted to see how long I would wait till, until I chopped all my hair off, then um, I'm not sure. I think that in the mindset that I'm in right now, I would probably grow it out maybe, I don't know, two inches, maybe three inches, because I never really got to have a super short I haven't had to have like the teeny weeny afro with the cute little curls and the coils and stuff. So I would probably go for that now. I think I would chop. I've been tempted a couple of times to chop all my hair off again, um, but even shorter than it was before. Um, and I think that I could. I think I could rock it. Rock it. You know. I don't know. I think you could do it. So um, for me, I would probably only let it grow out. I would probably transition for maybe a few months and get a couple, just two inches or so. Um, yeah, two or three inches, and then I would tap it off and see. And then, you know, you could experiment with color if you want to. Um, but it's all about what feels right for you. I mean, some, back in the day, I, would, I probably wouldn't have um, chopped it off um, too short because I, you know, I wanted to have a little bit of length. You know, I didn't want to be completely, you know, cropped, you know, have it cropped down and everything. So, um, you know, your views kind of change over time. So um, the best thing you can do is just, take a risk and go for it. I don't know. I think you should just try it. I mean, you know, there's always a wig if you really can't stand it for, a, you know, a day or, or well, it's going to take you a while, a couple of months. But I say just go for it. I mean, I don't know. But you have to do it for yourself. You can't, you know, you can't do it according to what I say or what anyone else says. You have to make sure that you're going to feel comfortable as soon as you get up and look in the mirror after they, you know, do whatever they do. So um, think long and hard about it. Um... Let's see, transitioning hairstyles. That's a little sticky because I'm forgetful. Transitioning hairstyles. Well, when I did cut my hair off the first time and I wasn't sure about how to style and how to twist and things like that, I did put in the kinky twists, the two-strand twists with extensions, you know, whatever you like to refer to them as. I use those a lot. Um, and I wore those for like, oh, I don't know, some months. I think I kept them in from March until, I want to say around October or so, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, about seven, six, six seven, seven months, eight months, and that's because I was in hot-ass Riverside. Riverside, California is not a place you guys want to go. If you like Death Valley, you might like Riverside, but... I don't. I don't like Death Valley and I don't like Riverside's heat. I like the area, but I don't like the heat that much. So, um, you know, you were constantly sweating. So I really just wanted my hair off of me. So I got braids and I always kind of like put them up or tied them back or something. So um, that's what I would do. Um, that's the best style that I've seen that's easy to, to maintain. You don't have to do too much. And it doesn't put as much strain on your hair because, you know, you're twisting and you may be braiding a little bit at the roots, but it's not tugging down on your hair and it's not braided that tightly or at least it shouldn't be so if it's braided too tightly please don't let that woman touch your hair again or that man because it shouldn't be that bad you, you should be able to feel you know still lightheaded you know it shouldn't be too heavy um when did i go to a natural uh hairstylist first never really until this year i never went you know um i didn't really think i had to you know i just you know got a lot of information online, and that was good enough for me at the time. Uh, it's always a good idea if you really are not a hair person at all and you really want 
to make sure that things are going okay and you want to get some a better idea of what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, because then that person can see your hair. Uh, even if you were to put um, a video here on YouTube for us to see, for me to see with my own eyes, I'm not right there in front of you. I can't see exactly what you're talking about. So sometimes it's a good idea to go to you know a natural hair care salon and just let them you know do the you know once over look and just say okay your hair's a little bit dry or it's moisturized but make sure that you're doing this or whatever. So um, if you think that you might want to go, go. I mean you know what's the worst that can happen happen to you? You know just go. So um, I, I get, again, I went the first time this year, and I only got a trim, so my hair is a little bit shorter than it used to be, but it's still still okay, still love it. So um, I plan on going um, once a year, if any, because I really, the fact that my hair grew and my hair was fine and my hair was pretty healthy, except for me keeping up the trimming and stuff, uh, you know, I didn't really have a reason to go, so... I think I can go ahead and save some of my money, you know, and just go buy another cool product with it instead of wasting, you know, not wasted, but for me, it's wasting. If you're very, very much a noob to the game and everything, then yeah, you know, you should definitely go because I would have wanted to go when I was first, you know, chopping my hair off and cutting it down and styling and everything, but I didn't have the money anyway, and there weren't that many places that I knew of that I could go to um, in that particular city in Riverside, so um, now that I, you know, have the money to spend sometimes and, you know, can actually get there. I didn't drive either. That's a big thing because you want to make sure you go to the right place. And that might take a little bit. It might be 20 minutes away in the car, which is 40 minutes away on the bus. So, um, yeah, I, I would go if I really, really had a lot of questions. But if you trust your own judgment and you, you know, you, you know a little bit about hair, I think you'll be okay. So, um, I think that's all. That was, that was, those are some questions that I got from uh, a message that someone sent. So I hope you watch it. I hope you um, got something out of my answers. I hope they were helpful. I don't know if they were, but um, yeah, the big chop is, it's a little scary, but it wasn't that bad for me because I wasn't, I was just, it was, I think I was bored or something. I don't know. I think I was bored and I was just like, let's just see if I could just cut this. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> so said, so, oh, got to do the rest. So um, it was more of kind of just silliness for me. I mean, I experimented with different colors, and, you know, I had purple and blonde and red, and I just had fun with it. So, and I remember, this is so bad. I cannot believe I did this to my hair. Um, I would take my hair, I would put some type of um, moisturizer on it, like maybe like a pink, like lotion, pink lotion or something, and then I would twist it, do a two-strand twist, and it would be damp a little bit because of the lotion. And then I would take the flat iron while it was damp and press. And you would hear the... And then I would, you know, I, that was so bad. And then I would take it apart and it was like this kind of wavy, crinkly. What the hell was wrong with me? Oh, my God. That was just probably so awful. But I learned. I learned. and learned. But, I mean, I, I can't even believe I did that. I was like, that is just... Do you see the fucking smoke coming up? Like, oh. I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> that was that was bad. That was really bad. So anyway, I hope that answered everyone's questions. Um, if you have any more, feel free to ask. But that's um, just a little bit of talk about the big chop. So until next time, I will see you all later. Bye.